Okay, I'm going to use this as a second demonstration. So like although there's not a lot of demonstrations, I thought I will just talk through the process and add a little bit more paint. Um, it's at a stage now, so like uh, this particular piece, uh, this portrait, um, is, at a, is a stage now, so like where it needs some lighter areas and possibly so like some of the darker areas need to be worked on as well. So generally speaking, so like it's heading towards probably as, as much as I'd want it to be um, before the application of, of some of the colours onto, onto there. Um, the process that I've used here is again so like to, to knock back the, 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 the canvas so like with a with a, a reddish brown a ground. Um, I've been fairly sort of washy with this, so like and that's intentional, so like because you can start to see some of these interesting sort of areas around the you know the, the underpainting so like of the face. And I want to really work and, and sort of keep those into the into the final piece. I don't want to destroy those completely. Um, I want I want that to be you know part of, of the final piece of work. So what I did so like was to to trace this uh, image off so like using a TV and I, I know this today so like in the discussion so like that we had um, I used a HDMI cable to uh, to attach to my um, laptop and back into the TV which gave me so like the option then so like to uh, to use uh, a tracing. So the image was enlarged on the TV screen via the, the laptop and then I traced off the image. I then used the tracing to, to transfer that image to the canvas surface using uh, chalk that had been rubbed onto the paper to begin with and then and then work up so like just a, a slightly more definite sort of out, uh, outline with a, with a pencil uh, with a graphite stick. Um, and and then proceeded to work with um, with the paint with the darker areas to begin with so adding so like some of these umber so the umber that I've added on, added on, on into this piece here so like is a shade darker than the background so you can sort of start to see then sort of where you need to be working so once that's in I then started to add using um, a round brush around brush and a, and a flat I added in some of those other light highlights and lighter details just staying so like with that tracing as well so like not making it sort of like you know not not trying to embellish it anymore so like or, or try to to be more painterly but really so like keeping within that sort of basic outline of the of the tracing and as I work this through I would um, I would add a little bit more detail but like I said before I want to to keep some of that underpainting sort of in this in this piece so I would again sort of just work with the white, just applying, and I would also be thinking I've got I'd, I have a reference uh, in front of me, so I wouldn't be overdoing things and not doing things in a way that was um, moving too much away from the original image. Uh, but what I would do, so like use uh, not very much paint, but you know work around the painting, thinking about where you need to just add those little tweaks. So not to, not really, you know, sort of put lots of paint on, but just little areas. Um, so you can see that you just working up these highlights. Some needed over here. And this image here, so like is there's, there's another, there's a circle sort of here that's gonna be a clock, a clock face. Uh, that I've used as a almost a symbol, so like of time, really, sort of in terms of this lockdown, because this piece is is a, is a bit of a reflective piece about um, just looking into the computer screen and um, and seeing myself on a regular basis, on a daily basis, so like through the, the work that I'm doing. So it's a constant Teams sort of meeting and um, you know Zoom meetings. So I will just sort of create little areas of light around those specks and possibly sort of a little bit of detail sort of lighter detail as well sort of on those glasses okay so keep working until you feel that that's you know that's that's enough
There is another video attached to the uh, the handout that was sent out today. So I can um, this could potentially work uh, towards that method of of, of uh, a process or, or technique, and it's called grise, um, and it's working up on a on a often so like not necessarily on a on a on a dark background. So like but working just the head, just the head. So like with with the dark. Um, it, 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 the, there's a there's a an, um, a link a web link um, that that sort of takes you so like to the demo uh, it's just a photographic demo so like not a movie uh, not a video clip um, but it does give you a real sort of step by step approach and you can see how that works just by colouring the the face brown to begin with and then working over the top so like with the lights and then creating a grey. Um, a grey underpainting, and then you work on top with the glazes. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there.